Hey everybody, morning, Reaper here at OFR, and when I pulled in the drive, got some people, looks like they're dropping off something, I haven't had to talk to Big Rich yet, but they came out of the house and said back up, so I'm sure Rich will be here in a minute. Anything else? There's a long sucker mouth catfish in this one. Okay. He's probably that big. Okay, big ones with them. And then uh, there's a real tiny thick. I don't know what it is. But... He can't go in with them. No get in. Well, he's been with them all this time. Oh, then he can go in with them. We can put them all in the 550. Mm -hmm. And where are you guys from? Lucasville, Ohio. Lucasville. Yes, sir. And that's like how long? It took us almost four hours. Wow. Yeah. Down south. Yeah. Is it? We, we uh, put water in the tubs last night, and then uh, we caught the fish this morning and put them in. Okay. Yeah, you know, the bubblers you can take with you on trips. Um, they're the white plastic with the snare stone. Okay, I'll look. Okay, right on the uh, back, that, that pallet racking. Right. Right where all the air, air stone stuff are, air pumps, there should be a pile of, of just the white plastic ones, maybe some blue ones, that are battery operated. Turn any of them on. If any of them work, bring them up here. We can put them in the tubs that we're not working on first. Okay. All right. Go ahead and take... One out of here and run them up to the 550. Okay, now for you guys to know, we've already drained all this water out of this tub and we're actually filling it up right now. So that is acclimating on big animals. So uh, Reaper's taking them out of the tub water and putting them into the water we're acclimating them with in the 550 gallon. We've got this tub, this tub, this tub here, and then that tub with the big ornery guy in it. <laughs> you should have a little one in there too after you get him. Okay, we can stop doing that one. I'll do this one. I think he's up in this corner. Yep. If you want to grab one of these little nets over here, that little blue one, mm -hmm. we can use that for the little guy. He may have already gotten out with one of Reaper's uh, catches. I don't see nothing. Oh, I got him. There you go. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't a good catch. That was luck. <laughs> All right, so now we're filling this one up, and then we've got this one here. That one's still draining out. If you want to check, make sure to see if his top fin's sticking out. Told you he was ornery. <laughs> Is that enough water out? Okay. If you can grab this black hose here and pull out of there. Now, how... <laughs> He's still ornery in there. Uh, how, how, uh, where'd you come from? From Lucasville, Ohio. Lucasville, Ohio. Four hours. Four hours away to bring up his iridescence, his babies, to give them a good home. Yes, sir. So, uh, here's your camera, Reap. Alright, this one here, we can put, drain this one out now. Hold that in. Now we'll start that drain. It is. That's because I'm a mechanical genius. <laughs> Hold that hose. Man, those are some active fish. Those are the iridescents. Well, they get skittish. They're very skittish to begin with, and then when you take the water out of the tub, they get real skittish. You know, <laughs> start flopping around and doing all kinds of things. Uh, just a second ago, you didn't catch it on camera, but we were draining this one after we had drained this tank. We were draining this one. And as soon as we put the hose in, the fish is like, what's going on? Jumped straight up in the air and landed in this one. <laughs> we were like, oh, my God, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they get skittish. Their iridescent sharks are uh, very skittish. Uh, no, I'm still acclimating both of these. Oh. This guy was, you know, his back's out of the water a little bit. See there. So I was just adding some more water to him so he don't start freaking. Uh, first that's our 
telling you is this is our row of uh, quarantine tanks. Officially, we just got in. So down there, we got a black pocket and a bullpen, an Oscar, and a, a goldfish. This one's empty. Come, you can come, you can come here. But this is the second Bellagio tank, 1,800 gallons of cigarettes. Watch, I put my hand up here and they'll all come running. There they are. We got a little bit in the bottom. This is where the, the tank where you're uh, coming into. Yeah, it's filling right now. So we need to keep it about here. You can see the, the water level. in the railing. Yeah, it was all in ground pool. Diving board's still there. Oh yeah, the diving <laughs> board. <laughs> sure sign. <laughs> Reaper here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, beautiful iridescent sharks. And we got four of them and two cats. The one bigger and that really little one, which I'm going to have to check him out. He was really cool. His whiskers were as long as his body. But that was a great uh, addition to the OFR. They're going to look great. Uh, tomorrow, I can't wait. I'm excited. Me and Kurt and a buddy of mine 
we're going to be uh, meeting in Lake Milton, Ohio. It's about an hour east from here. Uh, the woman has been calling Rich for a month. Uh, she's got this big, uh, fairly big pond. And there's supposed to be four or more in there, uh, grass carp. And uh, we have no way to drain it or check it because she, it's a natural pond and she's got bluegill and cats and a couple koi. She believes they're supposed to be in there, but she wants these amours out. So we're going to go down there and try and do some fishing. And not only that, my buddy, he's got to take off. He'll stay past dark and dusk. But me and Kurt, uh, we got permission from the landowners uh, to build a fire and uh, take our hammocks over there and do a little camping. Obviously, it ain't stealth camping because we got permission from the owner. But she is literally in the middle of woods, surrounded by woods and everything like that. So, it's going to be interesting. And uh, we'll have to give that a go. And uh, so, we'll get maybe a video of us fishing. Hopefully, we have some luck. We told her there's no guarantee on this. Uh, Big Rich, I mean, this isn't a normal rescue for us. Uh, so, we told her we would come down and we would give it a go. She's pretty desperate, so we'll try and see what we can do. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, you guys, uh, everything's been growing great. You stay fishy. My tank over here is looking pretty good. I got one side of the inside done. I got to work on the outside of the back. Uh, I had to get some more uh, vinegar, but it's going to be looking good. And I ran out of paint. I got to get one more can of spray paint to finish off the base. So as soon as I do that, I'll get some more videos and we'll do some extra showing what's going on with my 125. And we'll get these guys into 125 and get the ones in the living room moved into this. And then I'll get my guppies. <laughs> that Rich has been taking care of for a month now. Easy. All right, everybody. So you guys stay fishy. Hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.